everybody. Uh, it's a uh, early day today. Uh, I'm on my way to Plant City. Um, actually, I just got in Plant City. I just got off the exit. Uh, he was at a group of tools this weekend. Uh, ACI Aquaculture, uh, owned by uh, Chris and Amanda Leckley. Uh, uh, one of one of my favorite places to go to. Uh, they're you know they really care about their fish. Um, I'm willing to pay the higher price or better quality. Uh, what's best is that they med- they medicate their fish also, and they have like two separate systems. They have a system for when they arrive and put them through their quarantine and then they switch them over to a, uh, another system, which is also still medicated, but they use a different type of medication. Uh, I know they use uh, nitro, nitrophanosol, I might be pronouncing it all wrong, in the first system, and that helps with a lot of diseases and external uh, parasites and stuff like that. And then the second system, I believe it's uh, Prosequanto, powder Prosequanto, and uh, I want to say copper. So, uh, get around this truck. So, um, that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I'm only going to record so much because it's just me, of course. And, uh, I gotta go get, you know, get some fish. And, uh, I have some customers looking for some, you know, uh, fish like a, uh, want some, want some blackhead jawfish. Uh, of course, everybody's favorite. Um, one of these favorite, I gotta get some, some flying grasses if they're available. Um, you also get some, some, some uh, real, uh, like, fish that, uh, that you probably won't see or in most normal people's tanks. Of course, you know, everybody knows about the, uh, the aberrant tanks, you, you get those. Uh, a lot of what's that are not as expensive, at least in my opinion, that you get, so like the half black tanks, uh, you, know, you pretty much get anything you want within reason. Uh, real cool guy to me. I like him, he doesn't, you know. He doesn't, uh, He's always covered for me if, it, if something happens or something dies. He's always he's always giving me my stuff back, or you know, refunded me or gave me a credit. So uh, I'm just backing in right now. Um, looks like I'm alone today, so I have no interruptions. I have all freedom in there. So.
myself with it. It's only the second one ever documented. My fucking guy that actually owns the one Red Sea station, he's fucking livid because he put a lot of time and effort into the station and these Sri Lankan guys came over and weaseled away in the collecting stuff and they fucking got busted using dynamite on a reef. And they fucking shut the whole fucking thing down. He calls me up, he's like, dude, he's like, I've never seen one of those before in my lifetime. I've been, I've been doing Red Sea since the fucking, since 30 years ago. He's like, you better hold on to that fish. I'm like, dude, I already sold it. I'm like, it's here, but it's getting picked up tomorrow. He's like, I hope you got fucking at least 10 grand. He's like, if you didn't, he's like, I'll give you 30 for it, and I'll fucking have you ship it to Hong Kong because somebody wants to pay 80 grand for it. They saw your photo, and they called me up immediately. Barnett, why didn't you offer this fish to me? He's a customer of yours. I said, Chris didn't get it from me. There was an article about it from Jake Adams. He did Jake Adams to write me a fucking article? Wow. That's crazy. Hey, you got any bubble tips? I don't know. I lost it a couple of times myself. Say again now? You lost the tank on? Yeah. Ah, sorry. It's okay. Oranges. Sorry, I got I got sidetracked a little bit with the guy. Come on, that was Chris. So, oh no, it's okay. That was Dan. He's the uh, the expert on uh, quarantine and fish. That's where I get my medication from. So, sorry about Chris on the rampage and everything, which is normal. Pretty much it. I'm about to get on and start picking up my fish. I saw some stuff I liked over there. Get ready for the store. So uh, I'll see you guys on a rebound. Thank you for uh, watching. And uh, 